it happened another trip where there was a guy who was a friend of mine and he owed me like seven hundred dollars and this was when i was first starting my business and i'm like i need that money this was a, i don't know a few years ago and he had a ton of money and he was very flashy about his money and he was telling me he was like i ordered a mclaren everything's going great with my business i'm like wonderful could you pay me the seven hundred dollars that you owe me <laughs> from our trip two months ago Hi, I'm Emily Bender, the founder of Wealth Voice and personal finance aficionado. I'm here with my friend, Brittany Castro. Hi, everyone. I'm a certified financial planner, and now I create content to help people understand money, business, marketing in an easy and digestible way. A lot of my content's on Instagram and TikTok. And uh, today we're going to talk about relationships and money, specifically friendships, because there's many types of relationships, but we're going to talk about friendships. Right. This is a topic that can end a friendship pretty easily. Actually, according to a survey from Bank of America, 74% of friendships could end over just $500. So they surveyed 1,000 people. Money was cited as the fourth largest cause of stress in friendships after jealousy, gossip, and disagreements. It's not something people like to talk about with friends, but it comes up all the time. Uh, we're in Venmo culture. It's a thing. And Brittany, you said you had this story about a uh, trip to Miami with your friends and how this kind of came into play. So I'd love to hear about that. Yeah. And first of all, I didn't even know that stat. So I was like shocked that out 74% of friendships end over $500. I mean, that's crazy. Well, if your friend yeah. owes you 500 bucks, like that's the thing. I it gets awkward, so, right? It does get awkward <laughs> or like people hold grudges. I mean, you don't realize, but yeah. So recently, um, like, you know, I've done a lot of girls trips and friends stuff with money, but, um, we did a girl's trip in, in a few months ago to Miami and it was just interesting because obviously everybody has a different work, you know, what they can afford in terms of taking off of, from work, what their budget is for a, a vacation. Um, and it was like one of my friends really loves like the fine dining lifestyle and I'm just like one of the basic casual eaters like I could eat fine dining, but I don't need it every day. Um, so it was that was a conversation we have had to have like okay not every dinner do we need to do the best newest restaurant in Miami. Um, and sometimes it was just like, okay, this this day we're gonna eat casual to keep our costs down a little bit. So that was one conversation. Oh, and then the second conversation we had to have was just about the hotel. Like what were we willing to spend? And I personally love a nice clean hotel. So I'm always more willing to spend in that category over food versus like she was more willing to like compromise in that area. So she had more money to spend over there on the food. So even just like going through the conversation of like, what is our daily rate that we're looking for in a hotel? And then we had a third friend kind of just come last minute. And that was like interesting because all of a sudden it was, it was like, oh, we had made all these plans and we had already like booked our room, but then she was just going to like join us in the plans and like, you know, financially, how did that affect us? Like it was fine, but it was just interesting because when you're traveling with anyone, even if you're a good friend, like we're good friends, like stuff comes up about money and like who's going to pay for the Uber and like split the money at the end. And like some people get weird. And luckily, like it was just like fine to have all these conversations. But I'm telling you, like even some of the content I created since that trip was literally about that because it could be a wedding. It could be a, a trip that you're doing. It could just be a birthday event that you're going to and like what are the expectations with money i think with kind of the venmo culture we look at whether it's paypal or venmo or zelle it's really easy to remind somebody you owe me money and it's become a little more socially acceptable like oh a venmo request and there's something about it that doesn't feel as awkward as like hey you still owe me the money from the trip could we settle this I had a trip I took with a few friends to Mexico like three years ago, and actually one of my friendships did end because she owed me, uh, I don't remember how much it was. It wasn't wasn't more than a thousand bucks, but she just, it was like months were going by. I'm like, hey, could we just settle this, please? I would like to close the books on the trip, doing my month. You can make excuses, right? Like, oh, I had to do my books this month, send it to my accountant. I'd love to square this up. She finally sent it. But by then, and this happened with I've had this happen multiple times where you have to hound someone down when they owe you money and it's awkward for it's just don't put someone in that boat like yeah it's pay, really be a lannister awkward. pay your dues it's really true what you say about venmo too because like oftentimes you know we'll do group dinners and we'll just split it evenly like that's how we roll 
Um, but some people are like, oh, Venmo right away, like pull out the phone and Venmo and others will just be like, oh, I'll do it later. You know, I'm in the moment, I'll handle it later. And then they don't, right? Because their life gets busy, like you're saying. And then you have to be like, oh, hey, can you Venmo me like for the dinner or yeah. like send the, send the request yourself because they, they just didn't do it in the moment. Um, so it's very weird because it's like, of course we can do things so like fast in the moment, but you don't want to get out of the moment, but then it's like, just take care of it. Kind of like, you. yeah, said, and, like, but it's like, become culturally acceptable to like do it in the moment. Yeah. Um, do it in the moment because then it just makes it everyone easy. And then you don't have to chase people. Like you said, for money later, which feels so weird. My friend, Josh actually told me about this app. I haven't tried it yet, but it's called Splitwise, And he said, it's an even more seamless better experience than venmo and it like splits the bill like this person only had two glasses of wine this one had a filet mignon like the percentages the tip and you just do it right there split wise so I'm, I'm excited to try that one out interesting i've never heard that yeah and that's another thing too like so i know for me i've just gotten to the point in my life maybe because i have more of the freedom to just split it evenly i'm not i don't i don't mind if i only got a salad and someone got a steak like to me i'm just like that's fine but yeah. before i wasn't like that i didn't have the ability to do that i didn't have enough like just extra cash flow to be like oh yeah i'll pay 50 when all i ordered was a 10 dollar meal you know but now I, it is like that but yeah whatever app helps split is always good yeah, I, I know you said you lost a friendship. I mean, I don't think I've ever lost a friendship over money, but I'd be curious to know, like, how many people have actually had friendships end because of money. It was we had a just a fizzle like we never spoke again. But to me, part of it was because why did you make this awkward? Like, just mm. pay your pay your debts, right? It happened another trip where there was a guy who was a friend of mine and he owed me like seven hundred dollars. And this was when I was first starting my business. And I'm like, I need that money. This was, a, I don't know, a few years ago, and he had a ton of money, and he was very flashy about his money. And he was telling me, he was like, I ordered a McLaren. Everything's going great with my business. I'm like, wonderful. Could you pay me the $700 that you owe me <laughs> from our trip two months ago? Because you're so well that, off, obviously. Oh, and that's weird. That's really it was, weird. It was so that's gauche weird. and just like such a turnoff. Like, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm a young woman starting a business, and you owe me this money, and you're like, oh, yeah, I'll get to it. No big deal. Or if they're just flashing how much they spent on something else when they right. still that, owe you that, the money. That was the part that made it worse. Yeah. So don't make me ask twice, right? Exactly. <sighs> well, we'll check out Splitwise. Maybe we'll do a video on that after we've given it a whirl and um, get back to you guys <laughs> yeah, on it. Cool. Well, subscribe here. Um, follow Brittany Castro. Her TikToks are so cool, you guys. If you're into personal finance, anything like she's a CFP, she knows everything. Um, subscribe here on the YouTube channel and we'll be back with another video soon.